Pilot fatigue is a threat to both civil and military aviation and has contributed to air incidents and accidents. In order to better understand the effects of pilot fatigue, the Air Force Research Laboratory, in cooperation with the Air Force School of Aerospace Medicine, joined with the 49th Fighter Wing at Holloman Air Force Base to perform the first ever controlled study into the effects of fatigue on F-117 pilots. Although this study focused on F-117 pilots, the intent is to generalize these findings to pilots flying additional high-performance aircraft in the Air Force inventory. The aim of this study was to determine the effects of fatigue on pilots' mental abilities, alertness, instrument scan patterns, and simulator flight performance during 37 hours of continuous wakefulness. The following footage details of various laboratory tests and simulator flights and concludes with the findings from this experiment. Upon arrival, electrodes were applied because EEG provides an objective measure of sleepiness and reflects a general level of cognitive readiness. The eyes open, eyes closed EEG showed when fatigue-related slowing of brain activity began to occur. Subjective evaluations of mood were done with the Profile of Mood States, which is a 65-item questionnaire that measures mood on six varying scales. Subjective sleepiness or alertness was measured using the visual analog scale. The map B required dividing mental resources among several tasks at once, including tracking a moving target, systems monitoring, and responding to auditory requests. The ANAM involved solving simple arithmetic problems and reflected the state of basic mental capabilities. The FIT is a fitness for duty test that indicates how alert the brain is by detecting changes in pupil size and involuntary eye movements. Overall, the pilots completed one pre-deprivation and four sleep deprivation test blocks during the last part of a 37-hour period of continuous wakefulness. The Link F-117 Weapon System Training Simulator at Holloman Air Force Base was used to conduct the flight missions for this study. The simulator replicates actual aircraft performance, navigation, and weapon systems of the F-117. Once seated, the electrodes were connected to the electrode box in order for the pilot's brain activity to be monitored during the flight. Next, the pilot donned the eye tracking device and the eye tracker was calibrated by the technician. The flight profile was actually flown at night under simulated instrument conditions, but this takeoff shows a high quality of the simulator display with illumination. The eye tracker device monitored the pilot's instrument scan patterns during each of the simulator flights. This is a look of the inside of the cockpit through the eyes of the eye tracker camera. Notice the crosshairs reflect the location of the pilot's gaze. Performance was monitored in the control room. In addition to recording flight performance, continuous EEG monitoring enabled real-time physiological data to be recorded for each flight. The console operator instructed the pilots through the 15 flight maneuvers standard for each flight. The upper air maneuvers included standard rate turns, straighten levels, climbs, and descents. The start and stop points for each maneuver were clearly indicated in various parameters such as heading, airspeed, and altitude control were recorded by a computer system. As the flight profile neared the end, the pilot descended out of one 3,000 feet and slowed to final approach airspeed. The flight profile actually concluded using the instrument landing system under nighttime conditions with no illumination. The pilots reported going missed approach at decision height and this marked the end of the flight session. The decrements that we observed in this study highlight how even 22 hours without sleep will clearly affect basic levels of alertness, mental capabilities, mood, and most importantly, flight performance. Another interesting finding was that most performance decrements on non-flight and flight tasks tended to occur later in the day than expected. Contrary to popular belief, the dawning of a new day does not offer an increase in alertness in sleep-deprived people. In addition, the test environment in this study was far less demanding than the real-world operational environment and negative consequences will likely occur unless fatigue can be combated by administering appropriate fatigue countermeasures in a timely fashion in order to ensure the safe return of our troops.